the emotional condition of the parents, the way God has designed everything is that the emotional condition of the parents and creates a certain type of emanation of emotions that the personality of the soul is attracted to when it incarnates. So it's to do with actually the emotions of the parents and what feelings the parents have. In the first century, I had, um, I had a daughter and, and I actually knew who would be her soulmate before she was even born. I actually chose her as my daughter. And all of you have chosen your children unbeknown to you. Is it like sympathetic resonance? There's, there's not just sympathetic resonance. It's, a, it's to do with the personality of the child needing a certain, or, or wanting a certain, when you say wanting, it doesn't know of its desire, but the personality of the child is going to trigger certain emotions in the parents. Like, why do you attract an angry person, for example, into your life? So I can shout at them. <laughs> so you can shout at them. <laughs> well, uh, you can shout at them. <laughs> because you're angry yourself. Not necessarily. You may be afraid of anger. And so you attract an angry person so that your fear of anger can be triggered and so you can work through it. You follow me? And it's very much the same with the personality of the souls you attract as children. They will trigger you. How many of you felt that your children never triggered you? No, they often get a yes to that one. <laughs> children are perfect triggers for you. And the reason why is their personality was attracted to you by your condition of your soul. And I'm not saying just the mothers, I'm saying the parents, both of them together. Does that make sense? So I'm actually saying the opposite of what people are teaching you now. You know how people say, you chose your parents? Well, I'm saying, your parents chose you. I both Well, how can you make a choice when you didn't... This is first incarnation I'm talking about. How can you make a choice when you don't know you can make a choice? You can't. Can I just take that one step further? I don't want to make this a Mills and Moon session, but I just don't understand. If I was my son's souls, yeah. I would have run in the opposite direction so fast. Well, that's very honest. <laughs> oh, it was terrible. We had, you know, because I, I had abuse issues as a child. Yeah. We had domestic violence. There were just so many things going on. Your Why son's did I souls. Two souls into that house? Your son's souls did not choose you. But I attracted them. You attracted really them. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> and they were so calm and laid back, they really treated me. So, what were they teaching you? Maybe they kept me sane. You see, everything our father does is loving, right? I'm talking about God now, when I say father. Everything God does is lo loving. Now you say that, I've often said to them, Exactly. So what do you think God was trying to achieve with you? See, but most of you feel that God is impersonal, right? And is not involved in your life on a, on a moment basis. But the truth is that God is involved in your life on a moment by moment basis. And there's so many things that when, when you grow emotionally and work through different emotions and receive God's love to a greater degree, where you'll see, you look back and see what was perfectly happening for you at the time. Of course, you don't feel that when you go through lots of pain, right? What about the situation where a child's conceived from a brain? I mean, why would the soul choose to enter that situation? Well, that soul didn't choose it, remember? Oh, well, okay, but if it's... But then neither did the women. The women no, but, but, the, the, but what I'm saying is, and again you're misunderstanding what I'm saying, through your emotional filter actually. What I'm saying is the soul condition of the parent caused the attraction. I'm not saying this, the parent thought that they wanted a certain person. I'm saying the soul condition of the person caused the attraction.
that's taking away a soul's free will. The soul at this point does not have free will. I just said 